Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to create a pair of ghost hands for any of your CC4 avatar in your Character Creator 4. Now you can see this is the CC4 Character Creator 4. By default, this is the, the CC4 Camilla and I extracted the full hands. Now you can see this hand can perform anything and at the same time, you can just drag it into the icon edge. You can apply any 3D animations, the RL motion or eye motions, and it, this pair of the ghost hands can perform anything according to the RL motion and eye motions. We call the icon motion file. And just have a look. Actually, this pair of the hands is, is fully rigged. At the same time, just have a check the motion layer. You can see it have a full skeleton. That's why it can perform like a human, but it only just left left the hands, left a pair of hands. Right. So how are we going to do this? How are we going to make? any of the CC4 3D Avatar's hand to become a pair of ghost hands which you can use it in any of the horror movie the horror video like a ghost hand so start from now I'm going to show you all the step by step if you not yet get the iClone 8 character creator for the CC4 or the plugins and the contents you can just go to freedom3d.net to get all the software, plugins, tutorials, and contents. And let us start this tutorial. Alright, first, we are going to start from Creator Creator 4. Once you already finish design a 3D avatar, then you have to export. Click File, Export, FBX, the Cloth Creator, then the Target to Preset, choose Blender. The FBX option, choose the mesh only, then click the setting. Install LOD, activate it, merge material. Scroll down here until you see merge opacity to diffuse texture. Then click export. Click OK. And as demo, I'm going to export it on my desktop. Right click, create a new folder, name this as Camilla, your 3D avatar's name, the file name, name as Camilla as well. I click save. And now, just open the folder. You should be able to see the FBX is already exported there. Next, just open your Blender. Blender is a free software, you can just go and download from Blender's official site. Then, click the empty area, press A and press delete. Delete everything. Then, import, click file, import FBX from the desktop, Camilla, Camilla.fbx. This is the 3D avatar just now. And then, we only want the hands part, so click here to turn on the texture. And now you can see the material texture is not set properly, so click any part. Click the material, scroll down. The blend mode change it to alpha hash. Alright, then, for those parts, we can just delete it. Just for example, the hair, the cloth, alright, and press A, then Control A, or transform, delete the skeleton, oh sorry, this skeleton you have to reserve it, then delete those unnecessary parts. We only want to left the hands. So, D 
delete the unnecessary parts. Then go to the click and go to the edit mode. Then move your mouse cursor to any of the unnecessary part and press L and press delete all the vertices. You delete it. Then press L, delete vertices, press L, sorry, press L, delete vertices. Then delete the head. Just, just press L, move your mouse cursor here and press L and delete vertices. Then here. Press L, 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 then delete it, vertices. Now, back to the object modes, delete the teeth, delete the tongue, delete the eyeball. And then, we only want to left the hands. Next, click it, go to the edit mode. At this moment, you can just delete, but before that, just turn on the mesh. This is the this mode. All right. Then we delete part of it. Press negative Y and have a look. So for this part. Delete vertices here. Delete vertices. Delete vertices. Then, same as this hand, Now, back to the object mode and have a look. Just turn on the texture. Now you can see she just left two hands. Then we are going to we are going to the edit mode again and we are going to make sure that for all of this we are going to close the surface. So now I will just click click here so that I can select the the edge and hold the control you should be able to just select select the whole circle then right click it form a new face from edges now see so here also do the same. Click, hold the control until all get selected. Right click, new face from edges. Done. So now for this humans, it only just left two hands. And next, what we need to do is just save it, save as a project file. So this blender, I'm going to just right click create a new folder. Camilla, ghost hand, enter. So here, control shift S to save on the desktop. Camilla, Camilla, ghost hand. The project name, I'm going to name this as Camilla, ghost hands. Then I click save. Next, I'm going to export as FBX. Click File, Export, FBX. On the desktop, Camilla, Camilla goes hand. The path mode, choose copy. And then turn on the texture. This is to make sure that all of the material texture embedded inside the FBX file. Then click Export FBX. Now you can see the FBX file is already exported. Finally, we can back to the character creator 4. Just click here, 
to create a fresh new project then just drag and drop the ghost hand fbx into here then just import as props then next just click convert to humanoid now you can see the full skeleton is already there then just turn here to open the profile you have to choose the the actor the actor build is okay then click okay and take the t-pose click okay now all of the skeleton already map automatically next we are going to make sure it is t-pose just press e to just just make sure it is straight Right. Then, once done this part, just click active. Then now you can see your 3D avatar. Now it it only left just two hands, and it is on the ground. Then, just click the characterization. And then we just lift it up. This is a pair of hands and you can perform the full 3D animations. Let's have a look. We are going to test the animations. But before that, just save it as a project. So here I'm going to press Ctrl Z to make sure it is back to the ground. Then click File, Export, sorry. Click File, save the project as and the same folder, copy and paste it here, the locations. Name this as Camilla Ghost Hand, copy and paste it here, Control V as the file name. Click Save and click File, Export as iAvatar, Export at the same place, copy, paste, and press Enter, Save. Now it is an eye avatar. We are going to test the, the body motions. Just go to the body motion and we choose it from the animations under the motions. Just for example, the human female perform the open curtain. We just test this and have a look. Now we can see the hands is already at here. Just try to play. You can see this hand is really performing. All right. Now, if you want to see the bones, you can just click adjust the bone. Then you can adjust the bone, but this is unnecessary. All right. We are going to test it in iClone as well. So I'm going to open iClone 8. So now this is the iClone 8 3D animation software. We are going to test this eye avatar. Just drag in into the iClone 8. And then you can see this 3D avatar. If we try to click and edit the motions, edit motion layer, you should be able to see the full skeletons. If you close it, you can't see. So this is what we call the ghost hand. It only exists a pair of the hands which you can add, you, you can just animate the hands. So I'm going to test the body motions. I choose the animations, the motions, the human female perform. You try to check it. So now I try the add-ons. This is the add-ons. Then try to play. Now you can see this pair of hands is really performing. Alright, that's another animation. 
just like sit to hand, sit to stand. So by using this technique, you really can do this type of the, the horror movie about the animations of a pair of hands and it is really easy. Alright, that's all for today about my tutorials on how to create ghost hand just by using the character creator for make any 3D avatar and turn your 3D avatar in CC4 to become the ghost hand. We just need a pair of the hand. Stand. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my videos, tutorials and sharings, if you feel all these tutorials and sharings are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animations and 3D game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new videos, tutorials or sharings, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy 3D modeling, 3D animations, and 3D game developing. See you!